Get them, got them. We working on some nice puppies today. Oh, I like these. Nuga shuttles. Got some air conditioning issues. So we won't check it out. I guess I'm gonna bring you along for the ride. I like these. All right, yeah. Some more research. The Ford, I guess, through a code. So he just wants me to hook up to it, check it, check the temperatures. So I will do that or check the gauges. And then he said the Volvo is throwing and shout out to Worldwide Equipment, Chattanooga, Tennessee. I'm pretty sure they gave this guy my number. So yeah, this is the Volvo. And he said something with the duct work. He said he doesn't really know what's wrong with it. The driver's more in tune. I guess people were complaining in the back that the AC wasn't working. So yeah, we might need to check some filters and when he says duct work, I mean that's tearing into all that duct, that's gonna be, you know, pretty big job. So we'll see what's up. We'll get in here, see what we're looking at, see what what um specific you know fans aren't blowing. So alright, we'll get you in there when we're ready. Waiting, waiting. Waiting on the key real quick. So alright. That's my guy with the key. Oh, you gotta flip that on. Yeah. Okay. And he just wants you to turn it off on every time. Yeah, that set. works. Uh, I've been driving Prevos and uh, MCIs for the last three years mm -hmm. until I started working with it with uh, Dave and Kim and. Uh, Let me go check real quick. You care to, to flip it the other way? Yeah, I'll just check it. And that way we'll see that. <clears throat> yeah, I think he just turned it off. Try now. All right. Yeah. The battery rolled. Oh, okay. I always turn them off. Like it, it pulls yeah, I figure it would. Now, is it left side works, right side doesn't, or it's uh, both? It's the, it's the uh, passenger side works, and the driver behind the driver is is, is low. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna turn it all on. Go for it. He doesn't have his own. That's just barely used. Yeah. yeah. That's more or less, it's just falling in it. Like now, that. what is it? Like, it's full blast on where you're at, right? Yeah. For the cab. See, up here, I'm getting. I'm getting Regular. Yeah. See, right yeah. Yeah. And that's what that usually is like. It's what should be, yeah. Okay. Come out. From the filter. So you replaced it or you just took it out all together? I don't want to be good. See, I wasn't driving this Friday night. Okay. He was the heat, the other driver. I was driving the, the white. It looks like nothing's there. Yeah, he's, he's took it off. He took this filter off. Okay. It was just a little mesh filter. Uh, the airflow should be getting. I'm going to grab my flashlight and start looking. Okay, so we've removed this little guy right here. Building my screwdrivers. Taking a look in here, trying to figure out how this duct is ran. It looks like it's ran into this fiberglass. And the weird part is, is so this comes down to the front right here. And we're getting an 
airflow we need but back here we're not so gonna go ahead and attempt to take this down I really just want to be careful because I'm not trying to break anything you know what I mean it's not used to um, working on these so I'm gonna get back to it and try and see if I can't figure this out and not make a huge mess So apparently they just bought this new this truck new. They don't know if those that air should be stronger. It feels like it should be. But um, that's the motor blower. There's one on this side, there's one on the other. Okay, so expect it in there. It's nothing out of the ordinary. It's got a motor blower that connects straight into these down here but yeah I mean it's not pushing it back like you would want but like we said I don't really know what you know what what airflow this thing is supposed to get so I'm not necessarily sure so right. okay well I think I figured it out you got your Denser over here, so you got your 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 filters on there, and you got this one over here still on there. I didn't even check this other side, but this other side is blowing and rolling, and this side is blowing better also. So I don't know if I messed with the compressor or something and it kicked it on, but this looks pretty darn dirty. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna clean it up. But yeah, it was weird because when the second I moved this back, like it, it clicked, like the compressor would click on a on a deal. So I guess it's got a whole AC system back there. Like we said, we okay. learned. Well, this is weird. I cleaned out the filters, and right when I put them back in, it stopped working. So I started looking at this. This is the thermostat for the um, condenser, which is two condensers. So I put my hand around it and AC shot right up. And it started actually pushing out real AC and blowing. Then it started, it's, and it's still blowing out of here pretty good still. So I'm thinking it's something with the AC. Um, and I, I guess that if the AC isn't, isn't blowing cold, it's not gonna blow hard out of here. I'll be honest with you, I'm kind of just guessing, but I know this is probably bad, so I'm gonna order a new one of these and and then ask them to get whatever they need, to, uh, the filter back up here so that it's sealed properly because you're also probably fighting um, this filter not being sealed. But I think it was an issue of the filters being clogged, so it wasn't getting the right readings. And then now once we got the filters clogged and this is open, this isn't getting up to the right temperature to kick the AC on. So yeah, a couple different, couple different random things going on with that. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna start with. It's blowing well now, we'll see if it stops. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna call this one good to go. Let the customer know we need to get that. And a new filter right here, and we should be good. And they probably need to clean this because it's a little dirty in there. So I'll do what I can, but the rest of that's gonna be on them. All right, we out.